Good morning, guys. Here I am, just left work, just nailed another wonderful night shift. And um, follow me as we head down to the seafront. I'm going to do a little detour before heading home. And I haven't been down the seafront for a few weeks now. And I'm wearing my full face um, mountain bike crash helmet. We've got a lot of wind today. It's averaging between 20 and 25 miles an hour. So I'm hoping um, the noise cancellation will cut the wind out. We'll find out when I play the video back later. So yeah, let's head down to the seafront. Um, looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. Tomorrow I shall be, um, well should I say tonight, I'll be coming in in the car. Um, they give between 40 and 50 mile an hour winds this afternoon and Monday morning. I particularly um, don't like cycling when it's very windy and gusty. Let's wait here for a second. Oh, look at that. Off we go. And just have a look behind me. Make sure there's nothing there. And um, off we go. Right, which way shall I go? Shall I go up through town or go the long way? Do you know, I am not to got through town. Let's see what's happening down here. I haven't been into town for a long time. And certainly haven't cycled through town for a long time. Oh, got the lights. I'm going to have to stop here and wait for the lights. Even though there's nothing around, I will still wait. Near the road sweeper behind me, can see him. I can go now. Off we go. Yeah, they've done this new look on this road or a couple of years ago, and um, I don't particularly like it because when it's wet, it seems to be quite slippery. So, and we're cruising along at 17 miles an hour, and I'm going to go up this way, and try and look at that. Try and avoid all the bumps. Um, a very big thank you to one of my YouTube subscribers who said, loves the video. But could we see more rather than just the tarmac? Uh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Basically, I'd done it like that. So I caught the tip off from my mud guard so you can see how rough and bouncy it is. So, yeah, point taken. And um, I've re altered the angle of the camera. And. I'm particularly not going to go really fast today when we're out cycling. Yeah, a very big thank you to you lovely guys and girls out there for subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate that. And um, I certainly now, with this full face helmet, with the Bluetooth for recording, will be out a lot more doing loads of different recordings where I'm riding for you guys to see. Right, I want to go down, right down on the promenade. So what I'm going to do is go up the road a bit. The road's all clear. And then I'm going to head down onto the lower level and cycle all the way along there. Uh, we're cruising at 17.5, which is a, a nice speed. It looks like it's going to be a good day. I'm going into a headwind at the moment, so I'm now hoping when I turn around in a second. Uh, let's go down even lower. Should I go on the next level or this one? Let's go down on the next level. 
I know it's labelled up no cycling, but a lot of us early hours in the morning. That sunrise coming up is the pier over there. I mean, if you think about people walking their dogs or jogging, just take it easy. So you're not in their way. I don't think it's too much of a problem, even though it's, there's no cycling. But the roads are really bad with the potholes going along the seafront, so I generally come this way, out of the way. See the wonderful pier over there? Absolutely wonderful. I hope we can get round. It looks like it's locked. Oh. Looks like we've got to take the road. Or the next higher level. That doesn't matter. We'll turn around and we'll go back up this way. I wonder why that lady looked at me to say, you ain't going to get through there, pal, on your bike. <laughs> I often think Eastbourne seafront is underrated. Um, it could do in my eyes a bit of a spruce up and just watch this lady of her dog so we're going to have to take the higher level as you can hear we've got that wind coming in which is not a problem I hope you can hear me so there we go. Let's go along the next one. <laughs> A lot of dog walkers. A lot of early birds out having a walk and um, jogging. So I'm taking it nice and easy along here for you guys so you can see the scenery. There's a wonderful Eastbourne bandstand. Looks like they're doing some work on that. Just feeling the bumps on the pavement here. I think I've got to put some air in my tyres. Where does it go when you've got a cap on it? <laughs> um, I do do a few miles on a bike. And like I was saying, um, pretty much don't mind riding in all types of conditions. Um, the only sort of weather that I really don't like cycling in is with it very windy. Hence taking the car tonight. Um, I've been blown off once. Got caught by a nice side wind gust that made me wobble on the bike and I fell off. So ever since then, I tend to um, keep an eye on the weather and then just if I need to, take the car, but 99.8% of the time, I cycle everywhere, uh, especially on this wonderful MK2 mountain bike from Oxygen, and um, look at that, doesn't it look gorgeous? So, let's cruise along here. I'm not going to go too fast. We're going to get the speed up to around about 16 miles an hour. I just want to go over... No, we'll hold it at 17.4, um, the speed we're doing now. The simple reason is um, when you're riding e-bikes, um, especially the oxygen bike, which is a wonderful bike to ride, um, you have a slight pullback, and I've noticed that on a lot of e-bikes that I've tested over the last five years. Um, on this bike here, it's it's not that bad, it's really good. But I found 
we should go over the legal cutoff speed at 15.5. You do get some pullback trying to pull you back to keep that speed. But if you go over it by a couple of miles an hour, um, basically um, it releases the clutch and it allows you to ride the bike freely. And um, yeah, so just taking it nice and easy, going along. Watching these people in front. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. I don't know what it is when I'm cycling. I always seem to get the sniffles. I've got to run. I could feel it there already, so I do apologise, guys. Oh, it's over some bumpy along here. Got some great forks on this bike, um, Suntour forks, which are really good. They do um, take the impact out, impact out of the bump, and. Um, which makes it a lot easier on your wrist when you're cycling. That wonderful view. Let's come around here. I think it's such a nice morning. I'm going to cycle all the way down to the harbour, then turn round, and then um, head home for a wonderful cup of tea. Right, guys. Um, once again, as I said, I do appreciate you, appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, I enjoy putting them out, and um, a very big thank you to all my wonderful sponsors that support me on the way from me riding. Um, big thank you to Oxygen, whose brand of bikes I ride, also ride for e-bikes direct, and a very big thank you to e-bikes repair, which are based down in Bexhill, Cooden, Cooden Beachway. Um, called me up the other day and said um, I haven't seen any of your bikes for a long time pop, pop them along and he'd give them the service for me so it's just service this one for me which I'm riding and um, rides lovely so let's go past the old fishery place I used to be a fisherman many years ago when, when I was a young lad used to work for that fish shop there work on his boat, um, Bob Page, and there's the old lifeboat station there, which is now moved down to the marina, and I used to work for this fish shop up here, and that was, oh, many, many years ago, so a few of my mates are still out there fishing, and uh, yeah, it's a hard life, when you were a youngster, it was great fun, um, but the health and safety that's involved now is in incredible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to have a cycle along here and we'll go down to the marina. I think this is the only part that I know where you can cycle where it's laid up for you. So. We're cruising at 18 miles an hour. It may not seem it. Get them legs working. It's a bit nippy and windy. Mining the stones and shingles. But what a lovely ride. I do like doing the rides, um, especially now it's getting lighter. Coming from work, going out, going for a little ride. Simple reason is, um, certainly wakes you up and it's nice to get a bit of fresh air like I said we've got a bit of wind coming in um, it's about 19 to 20 I'd say 22 miles an hour breeze but that's behind me you can hear these tyres roaring I should put some air in them when I get home. Yes, right. Um, a couple of other people 
to thank for supporting me on the way, watching that dog over there. Uh, very big thank you to um, BM Technology, who hosts my website and supports me with um, video equipment so I can do my YouTube channel, etc. And um, a very big thank you to Karen from FOD Sports, who I've been working with, talking with them about a project. And um, I got my first full-face Bluetooth kit, which is the FX8 Air. And this is what I'm using now. The mic's a little bit crackly, but I'm going to be talking to them about that to find out if there's ways to improve it. But yeah, we've got a new project. Well, I wouldn't say it's a project. I'm waiting on the product to come of their FX4. And Karen from Fod Sports heard me talking about... Um, using or finding a way so I can wear a normal cycling helmet because I don't particularly want to wear this full face in the summer so when they came up with this what product that I can use from theirs and I should get that this week and then I should do a review talking about the FX8 and the F X4. There we go. We're nearly down at the marina. What I do is come off here. We'll go down to the marina. Have a quick look down there. And then what I will do is come out of the marina and then head off home. For a lovely cup of tea. I hope I'm not boring you guys. I mean, I can talk for Britain. It's just nice to be out doing these types of rides and talking as well. In the past, I've tried um, just recording and doing a voiceover over the top. And to me, you're not living the moment. You, you're not in it. It doesn't... I have to remember... Or talk about watching the video and adding it to it. This way certainly makes it a lot easier. Because I can just randomly talk about everything and anything. <laughs> which I normally do all the time. So we're now coming up to the harbour. Look at that. Should I slow down here? It's a wonderful harbour. Here it's low tide at the moment. We're going to ride round and just go over there and have a look at the the lock, the entrance. So I think all the boats, fishing special vessels, should I say, have gone out. So we won't see that being operated. But while I'm down here, might as well go and have a look and show you. Often come down here with the wife. Some lovely little restaurants down here. Have a nice meal. Let's take it nice and slow here. 15.7. I don't want to go too fast down here. Morning pigeon. So, let's come down here. Mind the bump. Do, 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 do. And so you can have a look. Harbour. The wonderful dock. We'll come over here. A lock, should I say. But there's no boats going out at the moment. So, right. Let's turn round and start to head back. 
what I'd probably do is pick a different route to go home, um, which is quite busy. But it's a Sunday morning, shouldn't be much traffic on it. And there we go. What a pleasant ride after work, eh? Well, totally fresh. Trying to keep the speed down. It's so easy on these oxygen bikes to um, fly along. I mean, I normally ride between 17 and 21 miles an hour when I'm on this bike. I can go faster. Um, that's downhill, <laughs> but generally that's the sort of speed I'm between. And it cut down here. It's just a lovely little ride, you know. 20 minute, maybe 45 minute ride. Which is good after you've been, I've been working all night. Just nice to get out and go for a ride. Especially better in the summer. I enjoy this, but normally I go further. I will be doing some rides, cycling to Hastings for you guys to see the routes I take. Several different routes. We've got a bit of a breeze here blowing in. Um, right, which way? Let's go straight on. And I tilt my head a little bit, trying to reduce. Oh, it's quite a strong headwind, that is. Um, yes, I'll be curious if it does cut this breeze out, because um, that is really blowing in. And I'm doing 17.5. Let's knock it down a gear. That headwind's quite strong. See another cyclist up in front. And you've got the downs in front as well. Depends which way that other cyclist goes. I'll probably catch up with him. I'm slowly getting closer. And this headwind. I don't mind a headwind. Makes your legs work a little bit. Rather have a tailwind. And certainly don't like the side wind. <laughs> Let's get them legs moving a little bit more. It's quite a bumpy road here, guys. I'm not too sure how the camera is. If it's wobbling. When we come up to this, we've got a roundabout coming up here. I was going to carry on going straight along the seafront and go up through the town and then back home that way. But what I'm going to do instead is take an alternative route to get out of this headwind. So the roundabout's nice and clear. Nothing behind me. No need to signal. And we nearly caught up with that guy on his bike. So we're going to go around here. Take the first exit. There's two cars coming along. Nothing behind me. And yay, we're out of the headwind. Absolutely superb. There is cycle paths along here. I just down the main road, this little bit here. And then... 
pick up a cycle path in a few minutes. It's a very bumpy one, but during the week, this road is very, very busy. I'm not too worried about cycling on roads. I um, feel quite confident. Um, certainly more confident wearing this wonderful helmet. Um, at first, I wasn't too sure about wearing it. I thought we lost the headwind. We've got it back. And I'm back to this lane here. Let's see where Lynn's travel's going. They're coming down to the seafront, so no cars behind me. If you're wondering how I can see, got a lovely little cat's eye mirror on the end cap of my handlebars. All my bikes have them as well. Simple reason is I've noticed if I try and look behind me, I end up steering the bike the way I'm looking. So I put all these on. It's silly little things that I add to the bike to make it more comfortable and safer for me. I can smell fish and chips. I know we're just passing the McDonald's. Right, let's come up here. I can smell fish and chips. <laughs> so we're going along the path to keep off the dual carriageway. Morning out seagull. Come on, I'll catch you. <laughs> We've got tons of them down here. They're humongous. I went up to visit my daughter in Nottingham and she, I said to her, any seagulls up here? And she said, you may get the odd one, like well, the big ones and sort of things like what we get down here. She said, no, they're like little budgies. Uh, that did make me laugh. But if anybody wants a seagull, let me know. I'll stick a postage stamp on it and fly it to you. I mean, this is a cycle path with more bumps than a trail. Uh, no rush. Yeah, so what should we talk about? So I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend. Um, I'm enjoying being out riding. I wish you was with me. Yeah, so I will be posting up this week when I get that. FX4 um, to show you what that how that's going to help wearing a normal hat for when I'm out recording and also going to be talking about the FX8 the experience I've had with it for uh, coming up for two weeks now um, very very impressed with it and I found out last night I was having a play and um, got the radio to work on it I was quite impressed actually. It's an FM radio built into it, which is um, really good. Picked up a couple of stations that I normally listen to, and um, it's very simple to operate. I will talk about that when we're cycling. And also, I found the function where you can change um, the features of how you listen to your music, like classic. Um, beat and I can't remember the other one I should have a check so yeah I'll be talking all about that with you guys so let's get off this bit nothing behind me golf course anybody want a game of golf I'm absolutely lousy at it years ago tried to take it up and the instructor said give up now so I'm just no good at it. I think I hit the mat further than I did the goal and the golf ball. Um, yeah, so that's one hobby I couldn't do. I'm so pleased you turned and told me. Cocky little young lad as well. <laughs> oh, we've all been there. So, 
I can't see how long we've been cycling for. Now I've got this new angle. Got a set of traffic lights. And then what I'll probably do is hit the main road rather cycling on the cycle path it's easier so it's all good let's go plus I can put a bit of speed up as well because it's so bumpy on these pavements I won't go too fast because otherwise um, it just makes the camera shake but we've still got that headwind coming in again should lose that in a minute Yeah, so um, I'm going to be doing some recording over the next week in the bike cave, so stay tuned for that. And I'm slowly finding the time to um, carry on re putting it all back together. I moved it around the other day. Oh, this is such a bumpy road. You think the money we pay out in taxes and everything, uh, they don't seem to put the money back into the road, which is bad. Hardly any cycling routes or lanes, especially on some of the routes that I take to really do it. There's one that they're still working on at the moment, and I will be doing that ride. That's from Eastbourne to Brighton for you guys. Um, I think they're three quarters of the way through the... Come down again. That headwind. really making me work today with this headwind no trains straight across lovely We turn right here. Sorry about the sniffles, guys. Like I said, I don't know what it is. I don't sniff all night long or all day. I get on a bike, get a breeze in my face, and I end up sniffling. Right, let's come up a couple of gears, get the bike moving. And we're going at 17.5. Get it up to around about 18. There we go. 18.1. It's a lovely ride. Right, guys, I'm not far from home. About seven minutes from here. So what I'm going to do is um, end the video here. But before I do that, um, a very big thank you to everybody for following me. And um, don't forget to hit that bell to see updates. And also subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. We've got some good videos that I'm going to be working on. Oh, bump, bump, bump. Very soon. Very bumpy here. I must pick the worst routes for cycling. Yes, so let's end it here, guys, as we go round the roundabout. And um, have a great weekend. It's a Sunday weekend. And um, thank you for following. And have a wonderful day.